Gold, ladies and gentlemen, gold. We love gold so much. Uh, it's always a bit of a bone of contention whether or not, you know, there's a gold problem with the Marvel contest. But let's face it, with the day of the Deadpool, you know, this particular event I was yammering on several months ago, the video yesterday, the offers, what you get, what you buy with the gold thing. You might need gold in a very short space of time. Now, there is no guarantee based on the in-game announcement, which looks a little bit like this, that we're going to get it... Well, we don't know when we're going to get it. It says that coming soon is an event. Now, what's coming soon? Is it a case that, like, soon is by the end of this week? And as I said in the video yesterday, it could follow a similar chain of release schedule, which um, I think it was, like, yeah, it was 8th to the 11th. Now, the 8th to the 11th in the UK, in the UK uh, is uh, the, the 8th to the 11th doesn't work out. Normally, it would kind of work out like the 7th to the 10th, which is the 7th of October, which is this Friday, and the 10th of October being on the Monday that you'll see the event running. Now, that does mean you're limited in the time to get gold to get rewards that, uh, or get offers and spend on these offers that look a bit like this. It, it kind of like, it's pretty difficult to get that amount of gold in a short space of time. But there is ways that you can get close to it. And funny enough, it, if you are willing to grind, you might be able to get this. How? Now, if you're still sitting on millions of gold, then hey, hey, presto, thumbs up. You did great. Fantastic. You don't need this video. But what, like myself, I'm running low on gold and I need to top that up. It's it was 800,000 just prior to recording this video, but I needed to set something up for this video. Uh, so it's down to 500k. Now, how am I going to get gold? Because there's no incursions. Yes, if again, that's one thing. Incursions is not around. And incursions actually builds up a large amount of gold for people. It's not actually back until the 13th of October. So it won't be back this week if the event runs. Now, if this does come back in time, it does mean you'll be able to add a lot more gold to your coffers, your your collection, your stash of gold. Uh, so you need ways in order to gather gold and gather it quickly. Now there are some really cool and quick areas you can go to in Marvel Contest at the moment. Now it could be a case of going, okay, you've got some permanent content to do and you've got some stuff with paths and whatever. So you could look to do some permanent content like Act 8.1. It's definitely something I've got to get done because hey, I lost seven days of progression last week. Uh, that's another story for another day. Uh, but there's also a lot of like other cool areas, you know, Alliance Wars. There's also a new Cavalier difficulty dropping. And if you followed my previous gold grind guide, you'll know exactly some of the places you can go and uh, and get some gold. In particular, you can actually sell some ISA. I'm not sure if like I totally recommend it, but it's still something I want to say is a potential option. Uh, and let's just quickly go over some of these areas. Now, following on from the spreadsheet, this is actually taken from the spreadsheet uh, that I used. I've put some kind of like quick kind of numbers and calculations right here. So by doing some arena grinding, picking up some arena crystals, and, uh, you know, if you want to just get involved now, some of the trials, do the milestones, you can get 50k gold, and, and that just touches some of the trials. There's also arena crystals. I think that's kind of like, when I put 64k arena crystals, I mean 64k of battle chips of arena crystals so that's kind of like what 32 32 arena crystals got me uh, also that 64k um of uh, battle chips got me 130k gold 50k gold per summoner trial based on the milestones 180,000 can be got and that, that could actually be twice because if you do it twice there's also side quest if you've seen my video earlier to uh, not only today yesterday then you'll know exactly how to achieve this by going and buying, you, you'll be able to do six runs, six runs, especially if you're Cavalier, Throne Break, and Paragon, you'll be able to do uh, the six runs, which hopefully will give you six times the 20,000, right? Six times 20,000 candies, which will, you'll be able to buy for 120,000, which is 1.8 mil gold. That's already kind of got you up to a good chunk. Then you've got 22-hour events, which are just like, you know, 30k a time for the length of time. You get some gold crystals. And do bear in mind, we'll touch on RNG and gold crystals in a minute. Also, as I said, selling stash 250k, which is there. But as I said, it's with the cav difficulty, you will have to 100% it or kind of do the paths uh, that deliver the gold with it. And then finally... Um, the total, the final total would be 3,340,000. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That skims some actuals as opposed to the RNG. Uh, well, Arena Crystal's kind of RNG. But, you know, 
it's still over 3 mil in a very short space of time, especially if this event does drop on the 5th of October. It gives you time over the weekend, maybe Monday, to do it. If it's longer than that, then that's the great thing about this video. It helps out prepare for the longer term of the month and kind of going, well, you've got time to grind. You've got time for incursions to come back, but we don't know when it's going to drop. It's going to drop soon. When soon? No one knows. But also, there's RNG factors. So one thing that I try to do is I try to save back some of my uh, gold crystals and also some of my objectives. Do your objective kind of like uh, get those crystals. So the objective crystals which are here, those Cavalier objective crystals, which I know so weird that they're not kind of anything else, um, like Paragon or Thronebreak or whatever. So popping open all of them, which is 26, gave me 45k gold. Again, that's something I can put into my totals, 45,000 with, with that, which is great. We then also look to other things that I've got, so we got other crystals, but as well, if we look to 22-hour events. Now, ice, this is the big thing, ISO being spending on gold into level up is a bit of a, it's a bit of an iffy investment. So looking at this and going, okay, well, Rich, you got this, you got that, that's great, but you had to spend in order to get it. That's why I lost 300,000 gold trying to level up. So from what I invested into that, I then have to kind of like see, will I get that back? The likelihood is no, but I need the units, I need the revive, I need the health potion. Um, a little bit more than I need some of the stuff coming uh, from this day of the Deadpool. But then we go to gold crystals. You can get gold crystals from the Glory Store. Again, this is if you're a bit desperate and need gold quickly, then you can go to things like the Glory Store and then go right the way down to the bottom and then figure out that it is uh, on a reset. Now, is it reset on a five days? I can't remember if it's all reset on a five days for that one. Um, it could it could be. If it's not, if it is, if it isn't, then it could be a two times option. But I would go and grab that now before it resets. As uh, you know, it could it could be an option to grab more gold. I'm not saying it's the best option. I'm just talking about the idea of like people will be desperate to get the amount of gold required in a very short space of time. When time, and as I said, we don't have much of that at the moment. So just kind of like simply popping open all of these has gifted me a nice amount, 161,000. That's great. And I'm back up to the 800k in a very short space of time. We then go down again to the greater ones. By the way, greater crystals, greater golden crystals can be got from alliance-based events and other stuff. So yeah, 169,000 being added in, bringing my total up to uh, 971,000, getting close to that that kind of one mil sweet spot. But as I said, you know, adding in some of these things right here, um, if I take away what you know I got, if I took away that forty five thousand, if I and I didn't add into those other kind of gold crystals I got, still means that I could get potentially an extra three mil if I was willing to grind. So I just wanted to make a quick video, just kind of focus on that particular point that um, even though time is not on our side, we don't know what time this is going to drop. There are some things that we can do right the way through to, and this is a bit of an iffy one. I don't recommend this. It depends where you are. If you want to sell ISO or don't want to send sell ISO, it is a bit of an iffy one. You might have some other stuff in your stash that you might be like, well, I'm, I, I got loads of these kind of like tier two basics. Like, do I need them? No. Sell them? Possibly. Do they net anything? No. 649. But it's all about clearing some stuff out. Look at other crystals as well. Like for me, I've got a ton of the tier three class catalysts, which are somewhere. I've got, yeah, just tons of them somewhere. Map crystals, like 1,283 tier three class catalyst crystals. If I was desperate, I would sell those. And I'm sure that people may have like stuff in their crystal stash that they haven't dealt with, stuff that will go into their inventory, their stash, stuff that they could organize, sell and get gold back from. So, uh, so yeah, do be kind of quite savvy with this one and look to different areas as to investment. And be careful when it comes to like the AQ tickets and what you use to spend. You may have to go, right, well, until this, this day of the Deadpool event is gone, I'm going to do all my tickets with loyalty as a result. Don't always, always recommend those particular things because people use them for different things, loyalty. Uh, but, uh, you know, needs must in this particular situation so you do you but uh, hopefully this helps out get a bit of perspective of look there's events coming new side quest the cavalier difficulty is coming out uncollected difficulty if you can 100 percent stuff in a very short space of time you can get gold and if you can get gold you can get a good chunk you know three mil you can get four that then it turns into four mil four mil turns into five mil 
especially if you are if you're looking to get some shards. Go into arena, get some shards, pop open those crystals, shard crystals, dual class, ISO, sell the ISO, focus on a level up the next month or whenever, whenever's kind of like convenient. Just be smart with these particular things, grab some gold and hopefully you'll have enough to uh, to get what you need and uh, fingers crossed I do as well. Got to work hard now. So yeah, see you later on for a stream where I go and get some gold and other stuff and uh, check out some other content located on the screen. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.